hey what's going on guys it's third off in here back at again with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you all and explaining how to complete the week 10 challenges and make sure you all stick around to the end of the video to see all of the challenges and guys without further ado let's hop straight into this video so the very first challenge that we have for you all today is search chests at the authority and to complete this challenge you have to search a total of seven chests there now the authority probably has around 20 chests and that's not including the vault and if you're trying to complete this challenge a lot quicker what i would recommend doing is going into team rumble to complete this challenge and i would recommend that because there's going to be less people in team rumble and there's only 40 in a match instead of a total of 100 in a solo duo or squad game and also in team rumble no henchmen spawn so that means that you will be able to complete this challenge a lot easier and quicker because you won't have to worry about any henchmen trying to kill you or anything of that sort. So yeah, I would really recommend using Team Rumble to complete this challenge if you're not the most experienced player or you would just like to complete this challenge easier and quicker. Alrighty guys, so the second challenge that we have for you all today is get eliminations at Misty Meadows and to complete this challenge you have to get a total of 3 eliminations. Now for this challenge I would actually recommend using a normal game mode such as solo, duo, or squads to complete this challenge. And I would recommend that because, like I said before, in Team Rumble, there's only a total of 40 people instead of 100. And 40 people on such a big map, it's going to be less likely that people are going to go to Misty Meadows. So the only way that you are going to get eliminations in Team Rumble at Misty Meadows, if you are going to do that, is if it was in the circle or it was at the enemy territory, like where their bus path is. So I wouldn't recommend doing this in Team Rumble unless you want it to take longer, because in a normal game, you usually have at least three people, if not more, dropping at Misty Meadow. So your chance of being able to eliminate people there is going to be a lot higher. So that means you'll be able to complete this challenge quicker if you do it in a normal game mode or just anything other than Team Rumble. Alrighty guys, so the third challenge in week 10 is going to be collect fireflies from Weeping Woods and to complete this challenge you have to collect a total of 5 fireflies. So if you all didn't know, you can collect fireflies in anywhere that has trees or trees around it kind of. But for this challenge to work, you have to make sure that it is nighttime or dusk in the Fortnite map. So this means that it has to be dark or getting dark. So at sundown, that is basically when all the fireflies will be able to be collected because they are not out in the morning because they are nocturnal. So yeah, you have to wait until night to complete this challenge. And then once you do that, make sure you head over to Weeping Woods and then collect as many as you can. Most of the time, I am able to collect a lot more than five firefly jars. So you guys should be able to complete this challenge very easily and quickly because they're really not that hard to find and they're basically at every single tree and in Weeping Woods there are a lot of trees so that means there are going to be a lot of fireflies. So you guys should be able to complete this challenge in one match and I'm not sure if they spawn in Team Rumble or not so to play it safe I would do this in a normal match. So yeah guys, that's how you can complete the third challenge. Alrighty guys, so the fourth challenge that we have for you all is... Oh boy, I'm probably not going to pronounce this right at all, but... A priest ski dance floor for 10 seconds. Yeah, I know I totally butchered that. But yeah, that is going to be on a mountain. And uh, I'm going to show you all where it is, so don't worry. Just watch the background gameplay and follow where I go. And then once you get there, dance for 10 seconds. And to complete this challenge, I would totally do it in Team Rumble because there's less people and more people do challenges while in Team Rumble. So I would definitely use Team Rumble to complete this challenge as quick as possible. Make sure you get some gear before you land there though, like at least some kind of weapon. So if someone does try and kill you while you're trying to complete the challenge, you can at least try and fight back or possibly eliminate them instead of you dying. So yeah, that's how you can complete this challenge. 
Alrighty guys, so the fifth challenge that we have for you all today is destroy shipping containers at Dirty Docks. And to complete this challenge, you have to destroy a total of seven of them. Now this challenge may take two matches or multiple matches if you do it in a normal game mode because people will try and kill you while you're trying to complete this challenge. So if you're trying to complete it in a normal game mode, it might take multiple matches. And that's why I would recommend completing this challenge in Team Rumble. I don't know how many shipping containers are at Dirty Docks, but I know that there's going to be a good amount. It's just a matter of trying to break them as quick as possible before either anyone else breaks them or before you get eliminated. So those are the two factors you really have to be careful of. So that's why I would use Team Rumble to complete this challenge a lot easier and quicker. Alrighty guys, so the sixth challenge for today is deal damage to opponents with shotguns or SMGs and to complete this challenge you have to deal a total of 500 damage with either a shotgun or an SMG. Now to complete the challenge you can use whatever game mode suits you. I'm just letting you all know though, uh, you will complete the challenge a lot easier and quicker in Team Rumble because in Team Rumble you get better loot, the players are less experienced, and there's a lot more fighting and action and that will lead to you being able to do more damage to people with either one of those weapons. So yeah, I would highly recommend Team Rumble for this challenge as well. So if you're trying to get it over with a lot quicker and easier, do this. Alrighty guys, so the second to last challenge that we have is deal damage to opponents with shotguns or SMGs. And this challenge, instead of doing only 500 damage, you have to do a total of 15,000. Now, if you're wondering why you have to do a total of 15,000 to complete this challenge, is because it gives you a total of 80,000 XP if you complete it. And I know a large majority of you will be able to complete this challenge. And it is going to take a lot of time, and for me too, it's going to take a lot of time. Because 15,000 damage is a ton. Because players can only have a total of 100 HP and 100 shield. So that's basically like killing 7 people that have 100 HP and 100 shield. And then only one person who has a total of 100 HP. So yeah, this might take multiple matches. But if it does, don't worry because you have a long time to complete this challenge. So if you are worrying, don't. It's okay, this challenge will build up over time so don't worry about it and guys the very last challenge that we have for you all in this set is search ammo boxes at frenzy farms to complete this challenge you have to search a total of seven different ammo boxes so yeah once you land there just start searching them and this challenge will be over quickly and easily and i would also recommend team rumble for this challenge because there are less people in team rumble and you're less likely to die while trying to complete challenges. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that if you're trying to complete this challenge quickly and easily. And guys, that was the very last challenge of week 10. If you all enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends. And until next time, guys, peace.